Nancy in Arizona with a new effort to bridge the digital divide. Josh Cristianto shows us how Phoenix is working to bring more high speed internet to parts of the community that lack connectivity. The city of Phoenix looking to add more network infrastructure for fiber optic high speed internet. In the city of Phoenix, what, what is the digital divide? Despite the fact that it is urban, it is the place in Maricopa County where the largest number of people still lack connectivity. According to the Federal Communications Commission, at least 18 million people in America have limited or no access to high speed broadband infrastructure. That mainly includes urban, rural, and tribal communities. That digital divide reaching a crisis point during the COVID pandemic. We were all scrambling, creating hotspots for kids. Uh, finding laptops to refurbish and so on to uh, address this critical need. Researchers at Common Sense Media found more than 330,000 Arizona students don't have adequate high-speed internet. More than 220,000 don't have devices like phones or laptops. It, it creates a real disadvantage for our population when they're unable to connect uh, to the incredible resources that are now available either on the internet or through AI. Phoenix's plan, if approved, would add a new section to the city code to provide the rules for licensing and transactions between the city and companies who would build and operate fiber optic networks. These fibers of the home services would allow residential customers quick access to the internet. Experts say those in the lowest socioeconomic spectrums have the most to lose without access to broadband. People experiencing systemic and generational poverty, folks who are part of a racial or ethnic minority group, people who have a disability, people who are veterans, uh, people who are older adults. A subcommittee will hear this issue on Thursday with the city council voting on it at a later date. Josh Cristianto, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank